talent. Oh, listen. There's one thing I want you to know about Andrew. He had a tremendous influence on bringing other people to Jesus. And I want to tell you these three stories. The first one is found in John, the first chapter, verses 42, 40 to 42. And look what it says. It says, one of the two which heard John speak, this is John the Baptist, followed him. His name was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first findeth his own brother Simon, and saith unto him, We have found the Messiah, which is interpreted Christ. And then it says, And he brought him to Jesus. He brought him to Jesus. I wish I could have been there. You see, Andrew and John were disciples of John the Baptist. And they saw Jesus walking by. And John the Baptist said, There goes Jesus, the Lamb of God. And they left John and began to follow Jesus. And the story says, Andrew went to get his brother Peter. And one look at Peter, looking at Andrew's face, he knew something had happened to Andrew. Something had changed in Andrew. And Peter wanted that experience, whatever Andrew had. He was excited. He came and said, come, come. Let me ask you, how successful have you been in bringing your brother to Christ? How successful have you been in bringing your sister to Christ? Or your husband? Or your wife? I want you to know, listen. If we've been more successful in bringing strangers to Jesus than our own family, something's wrong. Because those who know us best, once they've seen that we have seen Jesus, they will see something changed in us. And they will want to come and find out more. So as you go back to your towns, to your homes, to your churches, let me ask you, do people see a change in you? The vision for the church is not only to win people, but it's to see changes in your life. About being a Christian, but he came forward, and the pastor said, I've got to go and visit you. So a few days later, the pastor went to visit him in his house, and he said, I'm so happy that you came forward to be a Christian, but tell me, you've only been to a meeting or two, how did you find out about Seventh-day Adventism and Christianity? He said, I'll tell you. Years ago, years ago, I used to work up in the mountains, following some big trees in a logging outfit. And he said, at lunchtime, we had this Seventh-day Adventist fella come and work with us, and of all things, when it came time to eat lunch, everybody got their lunch buckets and they went their separate places and everybody went in a circle except this man. He went and sat by himself. So he said, I thought I'd go over and sit with him. And I found out he was a Seventh-day Adventist. And he wasn't odd at all. He just didn't like to have his lunch washed down with dirty jokes. So he said, I sat with him. And we became good friends. I'm go and visit you. So a few days later, the pastor went to visit him in his house. And he said, I'm so happy that you came forward to be a Christian. But tell me, you've only been to a meeting or two. How did you find out about Seventh-day Adventism and Christianity? He said, I'll tell you. Years ago, years ago, I used to work up in the mountains, following some big trees in a logging outfit. And he said, at lunchtime, we had this Seventh-day Adventist fella come and work with us. And of all things, when it came time to eat lunch, everybody got their lunch buckets and they went their separate places. And everybody went in a circle except this man. He went and sat by himself. So he said, I thought I'd go over and sit with him. And I found out he was a Seventh-day Adventist. And he wasn't odd at all. He just didn't like to have his lunch washed down with dirty jokes. So he said, I sat with him, and we became good friends. We had fun together. We played together. We did a lot of things together. And he said, I didn't care about Christianity. I didn't want Jesus in my life. But he said, I made up my mind if I ever was a Christian, I wanted to be a Christian 
like that man who was a seventh day Adventist. Yeah, we did a lot of things together. And he said, I didn't care about Christianity. I didn't want Jesus in my life. But he said, I made up my mind if I ever was a Christian, I wanted to be a Christian like that man who was a Seventh day Adventist. In your life is not only we can convert people by Jesus seeing a changed life, others seeing Jesus through our changed lives, but we can convert people by associating in the right circles. Associating in the right circles. Who do you care about? Do you care about little people or do you care about big people? Sometimes we find people that only care about big people. Don't care about...